Konnichiwa, it's Clive Linden again here with another episode of Japanese Cooking for Idiots and today we're doing chicken karagi. Karagi. So what will we need for that? Well obviously some chicken. Uh, you can either go with the chicken thigh, deboned or chicken breast. We have here approximately 300 to 500 grams. So we've got about 300 grams here. This is the chicken uh, thigh and it's been cut into pieces of about eight to 10 pieces. So you can see about that size. Okay, um, as I say, chicken thigh or chicken breast. Chicken carrage is uh, a sort of like a sort of battered chicken bit, chicken bits. So we're gonna fry it, so we need the batter. For the batter, you will need ginger and garlic, about one tablespoon each of that, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of the pepper, a tablespoon of the sake, half a teaspoon of soy sauce, of course, uh, a tablespoon of sesame oil, some plain flour and some corn flour. And here we've got uh, two tablespoons of the flour, two tablespoons of the corn flour. Um, and you can also use an egg, but we're not using a, a, an egg today. First of all, you get your chicken that you've sort of diced into pieces about eight to ten, and you just throw it in a bowl. Water. Okay, now you're going to get your hands hands in on this. Put the salt and pepper in, it's only a quarter a spoon of the pepper, not half as I said earlier. Anyway, put that in for seasoning. And then give it a good mix up. Grated garlic and the ginger. The garlic in. And the ginger. Tablespoon of the old ginger in there. Again, do the same, spread it all over the chicken and mix it in. Get those flavours in there. Then we're going to add the sake, pour that in again, mix it all up. Then the soy sauce, throw that in. And just really mix it in so all the flavour goes in there. Smell it now, smell all of those mixtures. And we're gonna leave it now for a bit, let it marinate, maybe leave for five minutes or so. Make sure that's all mixed in. And then just leave to marinate about five minutes. Okay, so the trick with chicken karage is to fry twice. So we're gonna be frying this twice. And the second top tip is to make sure you get your temperature right. So I've got my, got my thermometer here. And we're just going to heat up an oil, about a centimetre of oil uh, in the pan. I hope that's going to be enough. Put in about a centimetre deep of oil there, and we want it heating up to about 160, well not about, we want it exactly, please. We want it to 160 degrees. Uh, so I'm just going to press that in there. We'll wait until this is 160 degrees, and then uh, we'll prepare the uh, chicken while we're waiting. Uh, with the flour and the corn flour ready for frying. Okay, so the pan is on. We're trying to get the oil up to 160 degrees centigrade. And while we do that, we're gonna add the flour and the corn flour to the chicken to give it that nice coating. So we have a nice crispy coat when we uh, fry the chicken. So remember we're gonna add the, the sesame oil. Just put that in, not using our hands now. We're just gonna mix that through gently. Right, then we're gonna add the flour. Try and get everything coated well. I'm just mixing it all through. Just giving everything a chance to get covered. Doesn't look the most appetizing, I'll be honest with you, looking like this, but we will transform it. Right, and then we're just gonna sort of sprinkle over the corn flour. Just might give it a turnover so you know, because we want the corn flour to stick, so don't want to over mix it too much. I'm just going to turn it over so we can get the corn flour on the back bits as well. And then we just almost just give it a... Just give it a shake in the bowl, like that. And you can see everything's beginning to get nicely covered. And it's the two layers of the flour, the plain flour and the corn flour, which is going to give that nice, hopefully, crisp and fluffy 
uh, batter. That should be ready. Our oil is beyond 160, so I'm just going to turn that down a bit. And we'll come over and we'll give it a fry in the pan. Okay, so we've got the oil about uh, 160 degrees uh, centigrade, and now we're going to put the chicken in. We're going to put it on a piece at a time, and then we've got to cook it. You cook it for three minutes, one minute, 30 seconds on one side, and then we're going to turn them all over and do one minute, 30 seconds on the other side. I say we're going to twice fry, so when we've done that, we're going to take them out, rest them, and then we're going to give them another fry, but we'll get to that bit. So take your chicken bits. You want to be gentle when you put them in, because what we want to do is sort of keep the, the flour coating on them. So that's why we're not going to play with them too much when they're in. One minute, 30 seconds. Uh, here's the temperature, give it a good fry. Make sure, probably want it, yeah, it should be frying. So we're going to give it one minute, 30 seconds, and then we're going to flip them over, starting now. Okay, Google, put the timer on for one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, so they've done one minute, 30 seconds on one side, so now we're going to gently turn them. beginning to get a bit golden and that's what you want we're going to twice fry them though so don't worry if they're not entirely golden yet and then one minute 30 seconds again okay google put the timer on for one minute 30 seconds okay one minute and 30 seconds okay so they've done another minute 30 seconds on the other side there so we're going to take them out um, and just put them on some kitchen paper there and let them rest Bit. If you're cooking with breast, uh, the chicken breast, you might want to cook slightly less, but just keep an eye on it. Let the chicken rest for three minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to try and get the oil up to about 180 degrees centigrade because we're going to fry again because we're twice frying, remember. So we let the chicken rest for three minutes. Now we're going to put it in. Now the oil should be back up. About 180, he says. So we put the uh, put the chicken back in. Make sure you try and get any of the excess grease off there, the oil. Whoa! And stand back. Fry right, those again for a, a minute, thirty seconds, and we turn as we cook. So turn them in the in the oil as they're cooking. Not a professional. That helps if, uh... Okay, good. we'll put the timer on for 1 minute 30 seconds. Just turn them as they're cook cooking so that they get all cooked all right. on both sides. So these have been cooking for about 1 minute 30 seconds, uh, give or take. The important thing is to make sure that when you first cook them, uh, you first fry them, that the temperature's, you know, 160 degrees at least, because they've got to sort of fry through, cook first. And then the second time, as I say, about 180 degrees centigrade. Um, that way the chicken stays moist in inside, cooked, but moist inside. If you leave it too long, it may get a bit dry. But as you can see, they're looking nice and golden. So just take them out and put them on some kitchen towel. And as you can see there, it's looking quite nice and sort of golden and crispy. And hopefully it's going to taste as nice as well. So let's give it a taste. Right, as you can see, chicken candy, uh, it's cooked, it's looking nice and crisp on the outside. Uh, you can put a bit of, you know, serve with a, a garnish of lemon or squeeze a little bit of lemon on top, would be nice. But anyway, let's give it a taste. Malika, come on. It's looking nice and crispy on the outside. It has just been cooked. Ooh. Maybe give it a couple of minutes to cool down. <laughs> Itadakimasu! 
Cheers. Yeah, it's nice and um, golden and crispy there. Mm. Moist inside. Mm. You were saying the trip to make it not too greasy. Just make sure the oil is at the right temperatures because you want it to sort of cook through quickly without absorbing too much oil and then fry on the outside. Mm. Anyway, there you go. Very nice. Very nice. Very tasty snack. Served with lots of different things. Mm. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go. Um, it's very easy to do. Very cheap to make as well. And very tasty. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Sayonara! Sayonara.